Welcome to another edition of Reckless Eating Shorts, aka We Shorts. I am Chuck Rowland here with Matt Zion. Mm. We those are those are those are good nuts. <laughs> <laughs> so we got a poop joke. Oh, let's hear it. This is Robinson's fruit shoot. <laughs> <laughs> The only reason we're doing this because it reminded me of poop shoot. <laughs> Strawberry and raspberry flavored. Hey, Robinson, go take a fruit shoot. You know the people at the company made that joke. Yeah, you know they did. It. So this is just like a like a juice beverage. It only has 10% juice in it. This little container though has 150 calories. I don't know about this fruit shoot. For all of, for all of you that are health nuts, it sounds fruity. Yeah. All right, we got that off. <clears throat> Go ahead. Hey, let's give you a little. Actually, we should probably mix. Let's let's shake. Drink. I had a drink the other day that was like like shake this, shake mm. shake well. So I'm like, what the fuck? It went all over the place. Like fuck you, company, whoever you were. I don't remember. Ooh, Ooh this looks. This is gonna be a epic fruit berry. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid berry. You should say at the bottom, not poop. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of lacking in flavor, though. Yeah. Mm. Well, you can. It smells like it has flavor, but it's just really sweet. Yeah, it does smell better than it tastes, but it's it's good. I could see like a parent throwing this into uh, a lunch or something. Yeah. Like, were you uh, for high school back in you know back in '42? Were you uh, a bring your own lunch person, or did you buy lunch every day? In high school, I bought it. Mm. Grade school, I took it. I always, my mom always made lunch because it was cheaper. But like, you'd always see the kids with the pizza. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. My, my, my lunch was made with love, but yours is pizza. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty good. I don't think I would ever buy it ever again, though. <laughs> yeah. Like, eh, there's other beverages. Kind of like I'd a weird. Have. Kind of like a weird combination because you just get more raspberry than the strawberry. It tastes very fake, though. It's yeah. very artificial too. Uh, but it's it's not horrible or anything. I give it a low three. <laughs> It's it is what it is, but it's got a really funny name. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I, I agree. It's a three. It's just really sweet. You just get the one flavor, and it just just should say raspberry on it. And there's no strawberry, anyways. Lazy cat. <laughs> <laughs> when cats are like trying to sleep, and you keep waking them up, they look so pissed. Yeah. What's that like? <laughs> there's nothing you can do because you're a stupid cat, <laughs> and I'm being and I'm in charge of your food. <laughs> so there you go, Robertson's fruit shoot, <laughs> strawberry and raspberry flavor. I have no idea where you can get this, but you know, fuck it. Yeah, try, sure. Check your local market. Yeah, I try to find it. Yeah. You know, harass a woman or something. Tell her that you want to go out on a date with her. She says no, hit her. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that, viewer. <laughs> See you next time. This is how, where's your fruit shoot? Technical de agave. Welcome to another edition of Reckless Eating Shorts, aka We Shorts. Matt Sign along with Chuck Rowland and Chris Reckless. This is something we were supposed to do in Vegas the last year. Oh, really? But we're gonna do it now. Chris, what is this? I had this no is, clue this was with us in Vegas. This is was. Raspato Denico Tequila. So this is a Mexican luchador tequila, and Chris has agreed to take a shot with us. This is the angry luchador of tequila. Why are you smiling? So I'm not gonna open the, oh there it is. I seriously thought it was where you were at. Yeah, I thought so the, too. I'm like, it looked like an actual pool tab, like right there. I got this from uh, Total Wine, which is way better than Bevmo. Angry luchador, if you're watching, come on, gimmick infringement right there Ooh, on the bottom. Ooh, have you guys been watching Underground, uh, Underground Luchador? I saw a half of Who was of telling me about it? It was okay. It was okay. Was that, was that, uh... I saw Ricochet versus Joe. That was Ricochet as, as, as the, but, fuck a Puma? Yeah. Prince Puma or whatever? Yeah. Fuck a Puma? He fucked a Puma. <laughs> wow. You can smell it. Such nice, You agree better... To not a third of a shot, not a full shot, but in between. Chris is gonna take in between. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's rubbing alcohol. Mm -hmm. All right, Chuck, what is a full shot of this? Chris, well, we're all gonna agree here. I don't know, because we're using full cups. It's like where that line is. See that where that line's at right there? No, 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 no. I would say like slightly. At lower. least if you're holding it like that, Chuck, you're past the pinky. Or where you're holding it past the I ring. I very slowly. Past the ring finger is a shot. I'd say that's a shot right there. Yeah. A shot and a half? 
No. That's, a, that's a shot. That's a shot. Right okay, there. so uh, up to the second finger. Yes. Up to the second finger. Yes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not only with the fart, but with where you're holding it. You're, it's it's so different second. measure. No, watch it. It's a different measure. No, it's actually okay. pretty close. That's pretty damn close. I don't want the fart. Oh. God damn it! This is your fault, Chris. This is your fault. Don't touch the bottle, you piece of shit. Chris, go get the, to the fucking toilet paper. Fine. <laughs> I don't give a shit if it's you a double shot. You know where it shot. is, Chris? If it's a double shot, I don't care. It's Chris's fault. I wanted to cover it, <laughs> and Chris <laughs> houdini this shit off the... Chuck. Off what, my grid, and Chuck, I spilt it. What we have for you is my lovely couch with a pillow and possibly a blanket if you really want it. If you want to come on down. I like air. I, mean, I want the air conditioner. Yeah. Huh? No, don't kiss me. Just... He was gonna kiss me on the lips. I like the tickle of the of your. Of your he was uh, gonna kiss me on the lips. Of your half mustache. Chris, where are you? God damn it, Chris! Don't Do you me, like this don't make manly, me come you. manly, aggressive <sighs> beard I've been growing for November? Come on! It doesn't take that long to get a teepee. Angry luchador. I mean, come here. God damn! Upset luchador. Right, good. Yeah, no, Upset no, Luchador, no, no, no. if you're watching, this is this is dedicated right. to you because you Tequila. are on that bottle. Nobody cares about that guy anymore. I the will. Only one. I will. Tequila to. I don't know. That what separates me from everybody else. Here we go. I don't even. Right think, honest, on my to be honest, shirt. I don't even think this is a real shot. I think I think it would be more than this. If you fill up a shot glass and pour it in there, we. If you think it's not, wait, you put it on backwards. I don't have a there shot glass to compare, but I, I would No, I wait, would no, you bet. didn't. You do have shot glasses, uh, <laughs> Wait, yeah, you did. There you go. Where's the fucking centerpiece? There were two shot glasses right here. There you go. I'm find out right now. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> you don't do that. You pour it in the shot glass and then go whatever you miss. It's so fucking loud. Jesus Christ. Oh my, oh. Just on a shot glass, you piece of shit. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> Wait, you're you're shot and a half in me, aren't you? That is a shot and a half right oh, there. Yeah. He Chuck, cares about his job. Chuck, do you realize how much is I in don't. that glass? <laughs> Chuck, I look do. at Chuck, look at That is a, uh, look at that how is, much isn't in this bottle anymore. That is at least a triple shot. So, if I had to work tonight, like, cows like our buddy Chris right. here, I wouldn't give a shit. This oh, is, I'm even <laughs> regretting what I poured. This Fuck. is my breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Why am I blowing on it? I don't know why. There we go. <laughs> I wanted to sniff it. Why am I blowing on it? <laughs> because I know tequila's gonna burn, but fuck it. Fuck you. You've got like nothing in there. I hate you. Oh, that is nothing. Yeah, he that is somehow he tricked Chuck into doing like five shots in one. <laughs> I didn't know it was that much. <laughs> so that's got to be like five shots. Yeah. I, I really have to go away. All right. <laughs> Here we go. You can boss people around while drunk. When can you do that? Three. Upset Two. Luchador, this is for you if you're watching. I still care about you. God, are you spilling out of your Is it pretty good at least? Fucker. It burns, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting the tingle. I'm getting the tingle. Oh god, uh, it smells horrible. I'm getting the tingle, Jerry! <laughs> I, I'm, a, I'm a fucking chaser. Fuck. <laughs> You're lucky you do. <laughs> and it's right there. Oh god, I hate shots. I taste every fucking ounce of them. Yeah. Yeah. Three. Two. One. Go. <coughs> oh my god, what's that? <coughs> oh. oh god. That, that is like oh. that's that is damn near close to 151. Even with the chaser, it fucking oh. sucks. <laughs> oh! <laughs> he drank all of it. I got I got your amount left. Ugh. <coughs> He has more than me. 
Oh god, that's the worst. <laughs> no, stupid. Oh god. No. <laughs> Holy oh. shit, that is. That is 151 oh, all the yeah, way. Yeah, that's really bad. Oh god. <laughs> it has that bad aftertaste. Oh. Thing that, that sticks on your tongue. Oh yeah. Bro, pass the bottle, Matt. Pass the bottle. Let me see it. I gotta read that shit. Sticks on your tongue, sticks on the back of your throat. Whoa, it doesn't burn, but it has that goddamn bite. Yes, it's 40% though. I got through the first gulp and the second gulp got me. Cause I I, I didn't taste it on the first gulp. The second it, gulp. It's 80 proof. The second gulp made me spit. Because it has so much, I tasted everything. <laughs> How did he do that? How did he do that? Wow. <laughs> oh. Oh, right, God. No, 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 draw on the line. I will write a check for $100, go. I'm still drawing the line. $100. No. Oh, are you going to throw 50 in? I'll throw 100, you throw 50? No, 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 no. I don't, I don't give a fuck, dude. I'm, I'm good. That was horrible. I give that a one out of five. I don't like it. I think that's a big F you. Personally, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even do that as a conference. Um, was, it was too strong. I'm not a big tequila fan by start. I mean, for a tequila lover, it would be good because it doesn't have the burn. It has all of the taste, none of the burn. It's got a burn. It has a serious burn. Very slight no, for me. That is a hardcore burn. Um, okay. not being a tequila lover, maybe if it was, um, <laughs> that was brutal. Maybe if it was mixed in a margarita, it would be um, fantastic. Even better than the <laughs> Patron. Um, I would take a shot of Patron over that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah cutting, Patron. cutting through all the bullshit. Uh, low three. What we say is not well, bullshit. I would <laughs> give it a low three. Well, for you, being tequila. <laughs> well, being it's only forty proof, right? Because I have 151. Yeah. It, it tells me this has only been filtered once. Like usually yeah. when you have alcohol, they usually filter all the impurities like four or five times through a, fir a purifier. Yeah. <laughs> this shit right here is only filtered once. Look, look how dirty it is. Yeah. And it's not, not good. dirty. It is. It's not, not good, good at all. Yeah. It was. It just burned me. I, I, I mean, followed like, the first half of my sh my like four shots. How much you pay for this? For me, it was really cheap though. That, that's why I grabbed it. it. Was on sale at Total Wine. I think I got it for like thirteen yeah. bucks. I mean, for me, giving it a low three for you tequila lovers, you would love the hell out of this. No, tequila lovers would like be like this is like uh, Jose yeah, Cuervo it, yes, shit. Yes, yes, it's not good for you like semi tequila lovers, I guess. <laughs> so you're gonna be resigning from over on my couch, and oh, you man. hail from my pillow. <laughs> 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 All right, that's that. Another wee shorts, and we'll see you in the next one. Oh God! Welcome once again to another edition on location at the Bros Crib. We shorts. Uh, today we're gonna try two different chocolate bars. Uh, one is Choco Love XOXO X. Don't they usually end, end it with XOXO XO? Organic. All right. Well, it's an organic bar. Now this is the coolest packaging I've ever seen on a chocolate bar that I found in a 98 cent store. That's gonna taste like crap. Uh, <laughs> it's certified 100% organic, grown and processed. 61% of this bad boy is dark chocolate, so I don't think I'm gonna like it. But it's got a great packaging. I love the uh, stamp. Uh, stamp on the side. Yeah. Yeah, and also the seal. Looks like a little seal. Now I have the seal. Now I have the seal. It reminds me of blood, which women have once that's a month, school. and that's no, just gross. No, it's not blood. That's gross. <laughs> All right, what do you got? I have the million dollar bar. Uh, this was at the Dollar Tree, two for a dollar. So this we know it looks fresh. It's just, you know, it's just going to be chocolate, but I thought the red packaging was really cool. Yeah, it's going to be fresh though. We'll, we'll start with yours. yours okay, interesting. we'll go for that Now one. mind you, I didn't brush my teeth this morning. I just downed some mouthwash and I can already smell my breath. <laughs> it's just a chocolate bar. Just a chocolate bar. We'll break some off. We got to get Oh, it actually looks edible. Looks pretty edible. It says Burton's Gold. Okay, yeah. Uh, there's nothing really too special about it, so no. it's just the packaging. There we go. I'm not a big fan of like straight up chocolate. Yeah, I'm not either, but if you did, this is actually, it's not bad. I I mean, <laughs> it's not old or anything. Yeah, um, Dollar Tree, two for a dollar. It's good quality chocolate. I'd go for it if you're into chocolate. Yeah, I'm not though, so. Um, yeah, I think it's a two out of five for me. I'll go slightly higher, I'll go three. I just don't like chocolate. I do, it's all right. All right, so this is, uh, taste best before May 2010. <laughs> it's always good. Yeah. As long as you don't open it, it's white. Mm, it's yeah, it's shades, slightly shades, white. Shades of white. So, it looks like so it that's not gonna be good. Oh yeah, it looks really yeah, this low. is gonna be bad. It looks. It's kind of hazy white. It looks you can't really, see it on yeah, there. No, you can't. It looks really, really. So it's gonna be old, but that's okay. We can go for that. No. Got a soda ready. 
Oh, it smells like super dark chocolate. <sighs> okay, that's ridiculous. Doing this? Yeah. Oh, a horrible. Oh my god, a horrible. I'm used to that though. We do a lot of bad chocolate. Oh. That tastes like balls. It's not. It's not as bad as a dog or anything. I don't like dark chocolate. There's no. There's not a lot of taste to it though. No. It doesn't. It's not. It's not. No, creamy. it's starting to hit me at the end though. Mmm. Yeah. This tastes like really bad chocolate. Definitely go for the million dollar burger. Mm, yeah, a million dollar one's better. This one's only a one out of five. It may be better if it was, you know, good. <laughs> but it's not. I'll go slightly higher and say two. No. But that's about it. Two would indicate that you should watch. Here we go. Right in the trash can. Ah! Oh, go ahead, rebel. I'll leave the other one, though. So, yeah, there you go. We tried two different ones. Uh, try the million dollar one, though, the best. Dollar Tree, not too bad. Do Dollar Tree is kind of a ripoff, though. Yeah, but it's called the Dollar Tree, and half the shit in there is more than a dollar. <laughs> I haven't noticed that. Look, I the next time you time. go in there, look. Like, half the crap is, it's like a dollar sixty or something. You're like, what the? I've oh, actually, technically it's a dollar sixty-nine. I've never noticed No, that. like, a lot of the 99, there's 99, okay, the 99 cent store, the big chain, everything in there is 99 cents. There's, yeah. there's usually not something that's higher up. But if you go into the ghetto 99 cent stores, there's two types. There's the one that follow that specifically, yeah. you will find stuff really cheap. And then there's the, the 99 cent stores where it's 99 cents and up. You go in there, you'll never find anything uh. for 99 cents. It's always like, I, there was one we went into and there, everything in there was bulk, like bulk candies, and it was like $5 and up. Mm. Why is your place called 99 because cents? Because they want to get people to go in. Yeah, and I went and I left immediately. I so. go to the Dollar Tree for all my cleaning supplies. Dollar everything. Yeah, it's probably good. I don't look for any of that crap, so. <laughs> I don't well, clean. You don't, don't clean. I don't have I've got clean. an apartment I clean. I got, I got a mother. <laughs> 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 Alright guys, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> and welcome to another edition of Breakfast Eating Shorts, aka We Shorts. I am Matt Sign and I've got a treat for you today because I found a random liquor store in Ontario, California that still carries a Four loco ish type drink that has the ginseng, the juana, and all that energy that is banned in California now. This is Liquid Core Premium Malt Beverage. It has taurine, caffeine, juana, and ginseng extracts, 6.9 alcohol by volume. Sent my boy. It's true. I, I did. I found this. Now it's funny because it's not illegal to consume them in California, as at least at least I believe it's illegal to sell them. So I think this is basically something this guy had in his store, and he has like ten more. He had them at his store, and he's had them for years, and nobody's bought them. And I just got it. Well, I had to do a a can clean with soap and everything because this thing was dirty as hell. There was mold growing on the top. I got rid of that. I did a pretty good job. And uh, the whole can was pretty gross. You can still see stuff like that. But I'm pretty excited because I haven't, I never heard of this first off. So I think it should be good. I think it is a, it's a nothing. It's just red. Okay. It's not a flavor. It's just this thing. And it's got all the energy in it. So it's been a while since I've had anything like that. I believe the last time that I tried any of the original ones, it was uh, Jungle Juice that had all of the energy and whatnot in it. And I'm still pretty pissed off that they got rid of that because I loved me some Four loco or Juice with the energy. That doesn't smell good. <laughs> okay, so there you go. It's got the foam on it, which is, there's a lot of fucking foam right there. And there's stuff floating in it. That's just excellent. But I'm going to try it anyway because fuck it. Oh, it smells awful. <laughs> it smells like... <laughs> <laughs> you never know, okay, so like, sometimes I'll be sitting at the computer and I do like the leg folded up thing, and uh, sometimes you'll be rubbing your own foot or something, and for the most part I'm clean, I wash my feet, but sometimes you'll like hit like a little crevice in between your pinky toe and your other toe, and like there's some stuff in there, like it's just like a little dirt or something, you know, every once in a while I'll get it, and I hit it and I'm like, oh, that's what this smells like, it does not smell appealing, I bet the can has probably ruined this, but fuck it, for the show, here we go, Liquid core. Oh, it smells so bad. Oh god. It's not good anymore. Oh. It tastes just like it smelled. Really, really old feet. I guess it has like a hint of is that it's like cherry or strawberry or something? I don't know. It just tasted like feet. That is that is terrible. There's no way that's good anymore. I'm gonna take one more sip and then I'm done with this thing. Oh, oh God. Oh, it's really, really bad. 
Nope. Uh, I, I don't know if the product went bad from sitting for so long. Usually they're good in those cans for quite a while, though the jungle juice we tried was at least two years old. It tasted fine. That is awful. Almost tastes like the uh, Bud Light Clamata a little bit. That's really bad. I... It's a big F you. <laughs> that is terrible. The I know a place now that carries you know, a Four loco ish drink with all of the energy, and I will never buy another one ever again. So until I find a place that actually sells them with the actual Four Locos with the energy and stuff, that's the end of this journey. So thank you for joining me for this edition of We Shorts. As always, we'll see you tomorrow. And welcome to another episode of Reckless Eating Shorts, aka We Shorts. Sick Matt Zion here coming at you to try Vid Vidal Gummy Gingerbread Men Cookies and Cream Flavor. This confuses me. It's gingerbread, man, but it's cookies and cream flavor? Like, wouldn't it be gingerbread flavor? That's, that's a strange thing. I mean, gingerbread gummies would sound like a weird thing, but cookies and cream also sounds like a weird gummy. So I don't, I don't know why it's so complicated. I live in an apartment and sometimes people will just run up the stairs or run like across the balcony thing and, and it's really loud and parents don't seem to give a fuck. <laughs> they just, they're like, yeah, Timmy, go ahead and run and be super fucking loud and don't care about your neighbors. That's the way it works. So uh, let's try this out. I got this from Cost Plus World Market. Lots of weird, cool stuff at Cost Plus. Hate gingerbread, but I like cookies and cream. I'm not, I'm not incredibly huge on cookies and cream. I can get down on it. Uh, here's what they look like. If you cover up their heads, they kind of look like starfish, but that is the gingerbread man right there. He's like, Err, I worked all day and that stupid bitch never makes me sandwiches when I come home for dinner. What? All right, let's try this thing out. I don't even know. That's not even cookies and cream. That's like UPS cardboard box. Cream on the back has a really weird flavor. And then the actual gummy doesn't have any flavor. Oh, it's, it's creamy but not like cookies and cream creamy, it's just creamy texture. <laughs> oh, these are gross. <laughs> really gross. It's not good. Cookies and cream gummy, not a good idea. <laughs> well, I threw those away into the depths of hell where they deserve to be. Oh, wow. I would give that a very high one. That would be zombie apocalypse luxury item. I'm starving, the zombies are coming after me. And I'm, I'm like in, I'm in the corner of a building where I barricaded myself in and I look around and I'm like, I need food, I'm so, I'm starving, I'm so hungry. And then there's that sitting there, the gummy, the gummy, the gummy gingerbread men are sitting on the table and I'm like, well, I mean, it could be worse. I could be eating my own feces. So um, those are disgusting. Avoid those at all costs. Definite one, not good stuff. Man Signer saying, what are your thoughts on these bad boys? Let me know in the comments down below. And we'll see you on the next episode. Welcome to another edition of Reckless Eating Shorts, aka We Shorts. I'm Matt Zine, along with Death Toll, and today we're going to be trying another flavor of Pop Tarts, another limited edition thing we haven't done yet. And uh, we always try to do as many of these as possible, and they come out with a lot of limited edition stuff for Pop Tarts. This is Frosted Blueberry Muffin. Frosted Blueberry Muffin. I think it's just going to taste like their other, it was like the Apple Cinnamon Muffin. I want a blueberry. Uh, just like a blueberry muffin right now. I don't even, I don't even want a pop tart. I just want a blueberry muffin. Well, I mean, we haven't even tried try yet. So I like, like blueberry muffins though. And I, now this this teased me. <clears throat> yeah, you want a warm blueberry muffin. Oh man, and then you get like the, uh, the like you cut it open, you put the butter in the middle and like close it and let it melt. Oh god, I can eat like, I remember growing up I would eat like 20 or 30 of them. <clears throat> oh, should we share one? Or? No, fuck you. Okay. I don't want any germs on my food. Whatever, fool. I'm not even gonna, <laughs> it's a total waste. I'm just gonna eat like one bite and that's it. All right, uh, it looks really disappointing, at least the presentation of it. It just kind of looks like they slattered on quickly. It's got like craters on it too, that's weird looking. All right, well, well, it I mean, came from Walmart, so it's good, good quality. Good, good quality. Walmart's good quality, right? okay? It may get be like the butt of a lot of jokes, but at least their food's always good quality, unless a homeless guy opened it and then he bought it. And that's then happened to me sold it back? No, I mean, you just opened up, remember you were there for that one, he opened up the uh, oh, yeah. Pringles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We ate it anyway. I'm sure if you, like usually I don't like the idea of toasting the Pop-Tarts because I like them as is, but this one would probably be a lot better if you toast it. I think this needs to be toasted. I don't have a toaster though, so I will. You can microwave it. No. no. That's not the way it's meant to be done. Look at microwave it though. Uh-uh. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Microwave. The instructions no. right there. No. Mm -hmm. They're just saying that for people who don't have toasters and they feel bad for them. It's alright. Yeah, it's okay. Um. 
like I said, I'd rather have like a blueberry muffin. Mm -hmm. um, it's just a pop tart that kind of tastes like a blueberry muffin. Mm -hmm. Kinda. <laughs> kinda. And it's like so. It's snotty in the middle too, which is kind of weird. Yeah. It's a little. It's not like dry on the inside. It's okay. I like it. Just. Eh. They have way better pop tart flavors out there. And if I'm yes. gonna, if I'm gonna put all those calories and disgusting fat into my body that pop tarts have, yeah. I'd rather get like the the cookie dough one. Um, the hot cocoa, like marshmallow one, or my oh, favorite, the s'more. The s'mores one. Yeah. Oof. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, I, I give it, it's still a four. I mean, it's pretty good. It's just, I don't know, I want blueberry muffin. Those are five out of five still. <laughs> blueberry muffins. Oh, so good. I, I I'd also muffins. give it a four out of five. It's, it's, you know, it's good, but it's not that good. You know, could yeah. be better. It could be better. It's slightly above average. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, well, <laughs> there you go, guys. <laughs> we keep eating it, but yeah, no. all right, yeah, you know, yeah. <laughs> Well, thank you for joining us for this edition of We Shorts, and we'll see you next time. Welcome to another edition of Reckless Eating Shorts, aka We Shorts, Mad Zion, along with Chris Reckless and A Rock. Today, we're going to try something that uh, is from Canada, I think. Yeah. It's kind of ironic because our friend from Canada, Scott, which uh, you have not met me or you met before, but he does the gaming channel for us, he started a show on Reckless Eating called. Um, Scott's Exclusives, which is Canada stuff because he lives over there, and he just did a Montreal Steak Spice Chips, but they were from a different brand. This is Covered Bridge Montreal Steak Spice Seasoning Potato Chips. Ooh, they have poutine over there. But yeah, I guess Montreal Steak Spice is like a thing in Canada, a big well, thing. You know what I like about Canada? The shots? Well, they have really hot white women there. It's crazy. Well, I like them because they're all pale. They got pale. Like, you know yeah. why I like pale women? Because the paler they are, the pinker the pussy is. I don't know. Okay. No! No! That's... Fuck, I hate you. What? <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Everything has to be super sexual with you. I hate you. What? Seriously, it is true. What if it's like a really dark, disgusting pussy, though? It's purple. It's still pale. Yeah, it's purple. Well, it's purple. That's fine. Pretty gross. It's right, kind of interesting. Not. It's a novelty fuck. Uh, it smells good, yeah. Tastes like over-seasoned chips. Yo, fucking Canada, idiot. You're telling me that the spice that's on here that we all think is like super spicy is just pepper. You know what? This is this is Lowry's right here. It's it's really, Lowry's Caesar sauce. It's really not that good. It just tastes like straight like pepper, yeah. I, actually, I do like this one. Maybe you're secretly from Canada. Were your parents visiting up there and they had you and they were like, eh, whoops. <laughs> whoops. Whoops in there. Hey, Rick. I mean, I have dual citizenship, mm -hmm. but you know it's funny. I don't like, I don't like guys from Canada. Oh, like all the people that you think were like cool growing up. Yeah, Scott's a douche. Well, I don't know Scott. So I no, can't. Scott. You said he said it right now. He just said Scott's a douche. I added that in, so you said it. Oh. So he just said he said it. That's so weird that you said. But, but you guys, think, I mean, there could be cool guys from Canada. I'm just talking about like the people that you thought were like American growing up, and they actually turn out to be Canadian. You know, Stop like, saying Scott's a douche. This is ridiculous. Please stop. I mean, I, mean, I understand I mean, no, that you don't like Scott, but like, please stop saying. Wolverine is Canadian. What the fuck, man? What? Did you know that? You frickin' Hugh Hefner is freaking uh, Canadian? Oh, that wasn't even funny. What? Oh, no, who, uh, Hugh Jackson? Joe? No, Hugh, no, Hugh Jackson. Hugh Hef no, Hugh Jackson? Hugh. What the fucking name is? Hugh Jackman. Oh, Jackman. <laughs> no, he's Australian. And people. Yeah, you <laughs> fucking oh. idiot. Oh, oh, Wolverine, the, co the comic book character. Yeah. Condom book? Condom book. Oh, good God. Okay, so this product, it does have a nice spice to it, which is due to the pepper, I assume, or the pepper taste, but like, I just don't really care for it. I'd rather have uh, a different flavored chip. I would give it a two. It's uh, a <coughs> food chip. I think we should go to Eureka Burger. Mm. I just had it though. Can't do it again. Uh, I'm gonna give it a three. I thought it was. I thought it was pretty good. I mean, it tastes like it has like the Lowry season salt on it with the pepper thing. Um, I mean, it's not something I was eating like a lot of, but I can definitely probably finish that bag. It's fucking salty. It's really salty. Yeah, I give it a two. Two out of five crisp two faces. Two shit. <laughs> you know, but I still like it because you ate all that fucking cheese and. Stop saying Scott's a bad dude. Well, stop saying it. Stop it, man. Stop He's just it. sitting here going off on him. Seriously, I don't know. Maybe we can't be friends anymore. You're just sitting there talking filthy, dirty wow. lies about my friend Scott. I know. You should go back to Ferguson, Missouri. You know what's funny? Because like, if you, it'd be funny if you really edit this thing and you dub me. That's all I'm going to do? Oh. Yeah, I don't think you picked up on that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, I think that's what you're going to do, but sorry. Right. Scott's a piece of shit. 
Scott likes little girls. Scott's a pedophile. <laughs> I'll just add all those things. That'll be great. I want to suck a Kanye West's dick. All right, there you go. That's okay. I'll allow you to do that. I bet you he would have a great penis. I would think he so. He seems too. like he's an asshole, but great penis. I would agree. Yeah. I'd probably do it for free, too. Just be like, hey, you'd be like, walk around, and you'd be like a party and stuff. And like, hey, guess what? I suck Kanye West's dick. Yeah, but at the same time, you got to say that you also tasted Kim Kardashian. Ooh, that's a deal breaker. 